I praise and thank God for this 11th day of November, Wednesday. The Lord has brought us together in His presence. For our meditation today, let's turn to Matthew chapter 6, verse 20 and 21. But lay not up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. When God punished man in the Garden of Eden, he was told to toil hard for his bread. It was for his food which he needed for his physical body. But as man became, became the slave of sin, he was bound by the lust of greed and the desire to treasure up everything for himself began to rule him. To gather things, he uses all the wiles and the power of greed is so strong it never respects another person, even if he is of the same household. But God hates this nature of man. That is why in Moses' law, it is clearly mentioned, thou shalt not steal and thou shalt not covet. The sinful nature of greed in man drags him to other big sinful acts, which ends up in eternal judgment. God never prevents man to enjoy the fruits of his labor. When a person works hard sincerely, God blesses him. Look at the wealth of Abraham. God blessed him and he had enough of everything. But God looks at the attitude with which we look at our possessions. God does not want us to be hooked up to these material things, even to the relationships with which God has blessed us. We can see that in the life of Abraham, the friend of God. When God told Abraham to sacrifice his son, God said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest. Isaac was the important treasure of Abraham as he was given by God himself. But God wants Abraham to know that even that blessing is secondary when compared to the Almighty God. Abraham learned his lesson and in the promised land, he was living in tents with his generations, looking for an everlasting city. He knew he is a pilgrim here as he is set for an eternal journey. According to God's commandments, even the king was not supposed to gather wealth of silver, gold, horses and other material things. God wants them to reflect the divine nature of God so that the Gentiles may know how holy our Lord God is. But we see the disobedience of the children of Israel led to their destruction. Solomon, who had the gift of wisdom from the Lord, gathered all the wealth. And though he is known as the richest person of the world, we read about the tragic end of his life. His name is not even mentioned in the list of the heroes of faith. On the other hand, Moses, who had all the wealth and position at his disposal, denied everything and gladly embraced sufferings with his people. God looks at the attitude of each person. Life upon this earth is for a short while. In this journey, we need things for our survival, but let not our heart cling on to these things and let them grab the priorities of our life. We need to remember that we are here for a purpose. We need to prepare for a life eternal. Whatever we gather on this earth is for a short while. One day we must leave everything and go. But before that, we must gather up treasure in heaven, which will remain with us for eternity. Then what does this treasure mean? Firstly, it is the acts of kindness, which we are supposed to show as the children of God. Whatever we have, let it be for the glory of God. We are just stewards. And let us be careful to be faithful ones who will not be ashamed when, he, when we stand before our Master. Secondly, it is the ornaments of the fruits of the Spirit with which we are supposed to adorn ourselves to stand before the Bridegroom. It will increase our beauty forever, which will last for eternity. Remember, Earthly treasures are not the true wealth. 
but true wealth is godliness in which heaven is proud of. For that a child of God must be obedient and fully dependent on the Holy Spirit who leads and prepares us each day in this pilgrim journey. May the Lord help us to gather the treasures of heaven which will last for eternity. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you, Lord, for your precious word. We are not called to lay treasures for us in this earth where moth or rust will corrupt or where thieves can come and break it. But Lord, help us to save ourselves treasures in heaven. This world is passing by. We are so blessed to have you. Help us to trust you. And help us to be faithful. Lead us and guide us this day. May your name be glorified through our lives. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May the Lord help us. And may his blessings be there in our lives. And may others see Christ in and through us. Our Lord is coming very soon. May God bless you. Maranatha.